Hey guys, what's up? It's the Tyrant here, and if you're watching this video, then most likely you are a part of the small percentage of my See subscribers that has actually been following my Halo 5 Guardians legendary walkthrough. You're the last boots on the ground. And to be honest with you, that's mainly who this video is for. You, the fans. The ones who've been cheering me on and tuning in regularly like you're watching your favorite TV show. And I want you, the person watching this right now, to know that you're the reason I do these walkthroughs. You are the reason I dedicate hours and hours every day to make content that I know you'll enjoy. And honestly, I truly can't thank you enough. And no, I'm not trying to be cheesy or sentimental. I really do mean it, and I feel incredibly lucky to have such a dedicated fan base. So now you're probably wondering what the delay was when it came to my Halo 5 Guardians material. I mean, after all, the game was released in October of last year, and I didn't even start working on the guides until April of this year, and even then, I didn't pick it back up after the first video until September. Sounds nuts, right? Well, that's not even the crazy part. What is crazy is that I currently have over 22,000 subscribers. 22,000! That is a damn big number. Or at least it is for someone like me, and I think it's pretty safe to say that of those 22,000 people, the vast majority subscribe because they love video games, and of those people, most of them more than likely subscribe because they love Halo, which just happens to be my specialty. Now, I've been doing Halo walkthroughs for over 8 years now. Man, how time flies. I started with the Halo Mythic difficulty walkthroughs, or Legendary All Skulls On, over at the website halo.bungie.org, and that's thanks to my good friend and fellow Halo fanatic Claude Herrera. A couple of years after that, I branched out by starting this very YouTube channel and built it from the ground up. And sure, it, it saw some hard times, especially when Halo changed hands from Bungie to 343 Industries. But I still managed to rise from the ashes and make the channel stronger than ever, and currently some of my videos have almost a million views, which still blows my mind. But you know what really blows my mind? That a random video I took of an escalator here in Washington, D.C. currently has more views than three out of my current four Halo 5 Legendary walkthrough videos. I mean, ouch. Now, I've been trying to figure this one out, especially when I see comments on the Halo Waypoint forums like this. And one reason why this might be the case could be because I waited so long to start working on it after the game's initial release. And I can certainly see where this might play a part. But at the same time, I've done legendary walkthroughs for every other major Halo title out there, including Halo Wars, and the only two that were done close to their game's releases were Halo Reach and Halo 4. My Halo 3 Legendary Walkthrough came out nearly five years after the game came out. For Halo 2, it was eight years, and for Halo Combat Evolved, it was a whopping 11. Even my Halo Wars Legendary Walkthrough, which did pretty well, was released five years after the game came out, and I don't even really consider that to be a major Halo title. The point is, people really seem to like all those videos, with some even reaching over 100,000 views. So you can probably imagine both my surprise and confusion when I saw just how few people seemed interested in my guides for the latest Halo game. Then I thought maybe it was just me. Maybe people were just simply getting tired of the whole Mythic Tyrant thing, and no one really cared anymore. Well, as it turns out, even though that might at least be partially true, I'm still making videos that get thousands of hits, so that really can't be the case in and of itself either. So what is it then? Now. I didn't make this video to bash Halo 5. Personally, it's a game I still enjoy playing, and despite me having qualms about the campaign storyline, it's still the main game I play on my Xbox One, and has been for nearly a year now. Some of you may be thinking, wow, is Tyrant really bitching about his view count? Well, no, I'm not really bitching so much as making an observation. See, what many of you may not know is that after my motorcycle accident last year largely took away my ability to do what I used to do full-time, I started working on my site as a full-time gig. And I'll admit, I was off to a rough start with some of my many entries making it pretty damn difficult to play video games and do walkthroughs. But I eventually learned to adapt, and here I am now. So, since I'm now relying on the site a lot more as opposed to before the accident where it was really just a fun hobby, what people are really interested in seeing on my site becomes more of a priority. And unfortunately, if most of my subscribers aren't interested in seeing Halo 5 content, then I become less prone to releasing it on a regular basis. 
Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't me saying that I won't finish the walkthrough. As I've already told you before in this video, you the fans are exactly why I'm making them, regardless of how many people actually do watch them. It will get done, and I've certainly made it the point to pick up the pace, but I also unfortunately can't always guarantee a time frame for each guide. <sighs> okay, so you've gotten this far into the video, so obviously you do give a damn and you want to know how to get these guides out faster. Well, to be honest with you, personally, I still believe Halo 5 is a great game. It's just that, unfortunately, it's misunderstood and a victim of a lot of public ridicule. And I'm just as much to blame for that as IGN or GameSpot or even Angry Joe. And I really do want to change that. I want you, the fans, to use this video to tell me everything that you liked about Halo 5 Guardians. And if you weren't a fan and you hated the game, tell me what you think could be improved, what needs to be removed, or what needs to be added. And who knows, maybe even 343 Industries will be watching this video and even the comments section to pick up tips for their future Halo titles. I mean, they do know me and they do watch my material even if they don't do it as much as they used to. And if you really are enjoying these videos, as a personal favor to me, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to me on Twitter. A link is in the description below, and I respond to comments and questions on Twitter faster than any of my other social media outlets. I check it daily, usually multiple times a day, and it's definitely the best place to reach me. And if you're not on Twitter or simply prefer using Facebook, I also have a Mythic Tyrant page there too, which I highly encourage you to like and follow. A link for that is also in the description below. And really, if you can, if you have the time, if these videos are something that you really like, it would be a personal favor to me if you would share them with your friends on your own social media pages. That would definitely help me out a ton. And who knows, maybe the problem isn't even really Halo itself. Maybe it's possible that it's just fallen to the wayside over the last year and we need to bring it back. We need to make people care again. Because keep in mind, this doesn't just affect me, it affects you too. I mean, if Halo starts losing its fan base, then maybe one day there won't be any more Halo games. And if that's the case, guess what? I won't have any more cool Halo videos to make for you. And let's face it, that would suck. Well, that's pretty much the end of my rants. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope you were able to take something away from that. At least now you know why it's been taking me so long to do my Halo 5 Legendary walkthrough. Uh, if you've watched this video from start to finish, I want to give you a special thank you your true fans and that is the main reason I've been doing all this for so many years now and as a way of saying thank you I'm gonna start showcasing comments from my regulars from both here and on my Twitter in future Halo videos I do read every comment and I really appreciate the extra time and effort it takes to post your thoughts and opinions on my content so I want to thank you all again so much for watching if you're new to the channel well, first of all, I don't know why you chose this to be your first video, but if you do want to see more video game related content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you all again on Wednesday. Thank you so much for listening, and as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.